Have you wondered what it means to truly be great? Well, in our gospel this weekend, Jesus says that greatness is not about being in the spotlight, but in fact, greatness is something quite different. So, let's unpack the gospel passage for this Sunday. In our gospel reading this weekend, as we celebrate the 31st Sunday of Ordinary Time, Jesus mentioned some people who love to show off. They wanted to be seen as important and they expected to receive praise for everything they did. Now these people wanted to be great and they wanted greatness in front of their friends, in front of their family and in front of society. But Jesus had a different idea of what greatness meant. Jesus said that true greatness is found in humility and service to others. Imagine that. Being the greatest doesn't mean being the centre of attention. But instead for Jesus, being great means being a helper and being a friend. Now Jesus told his disciples that the greatest among them should be like a servant. A servant. Yeah, a servant. A servant is someone who helps and cares for others. Someone who puts others' needs before their own. So being great, according to Jesus, is not about trying to be better than everyone else or getting the most praise. Instead, being great in Jesus' eyes is about being kind, being caring, being loving, and serving those in need. It's about sharing, helping and listening to those who need us. It's about making the world a better place by being a humble, caring and selfless person. These are the qualities, Jesus says, these are the qualities that allows us to be great. So, what can we do to become great as Jesus defines it. Well, I reckon we can do four things. We can do four things to be great in the eyes of Jesus. The first is to be kind. Be kind to everyone you meet, whether it's your family or friends or even strangers. A small act of kindness can brighten someone's day. The second thing is to share. Sharing is a way of showing love. You might share your time. You might share your things. You might share your smile. By sharing, we spread happiness and joy. The third thing that we can do to become great in Jesus' eyes is listen. Sometimes the best way to help someone is to listen. By listening, we show that person We care by being a good listener. And by listening, we try to come to understand their feelings. So that's the third thing. And the fourth thing that we can do is to help out. We can offer to help our family with chores. Perhaps we might have to set the table or help empty the dishwasher, help clean up after dinner. We help out. When we help others, we are being a humble servant. So these are the four things that that we can do. We can be kind, we can share, we can listen, and we can help out. Some of these things are very hard to do. Well, they can be very hard to do, but we can always ask our friend Jesus to help us with these four things. Because with Jesus' grace, with God's grace, with the work of the Holy Spirit amongst us, we can become great in his kingdom. So, with this in mind, with our gospel message in mind, I invite us to pray. And so let's do this under the cross in Tarao Māori. Ke te ingoa o te mātua, o te tamaiti, o te wārua tapu. Amen. Dear God, thank you for teaching us the true meaning 
of greatness through your Son, Jesus. Help us to be humble, kind and loving, serving others with joy and compassion. May we follow in Jesus' footsteps, making the world a better place. In his name we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, with our Gospel passage in mind, let us remember that greatness comes from being humble and from serving others. By being kind and loving, we can make a significant impact on our world. So have a wonderful week, have a wonderful weekend, and I look forward to seeing you again. God bless.